Mercedes AMG 835. AMG, we can go for Super Sport. It will have a drift mode. See, the rear end really rotates. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, and today we've got the all new Mercedes AMG A35. And uh, just a disclaimer in case something's weird or whatever, it's quite windy today. Uh, so I've got a, a makeshift improvised wind deflector, as you can see. Uh, so if you hear some scratching, that's probably the hood of the jacket which i'm trying to use as a wind deflector all right let's do a quick walk around because it's super cold uh, i'll show you the car and we'll drive it on this road do a zero to 100 kilometers an hour measurement over there and blast it towards the autobahn to do a top speed run so the new a-class we have done two big reviews on this car on the a 200 and the a250 so if you're interested in the new a-class in general to learn about uh, the new design the new mbux uh, multimedia system go check out the review up here and stay here if you want to learn more about the new entry-level amg car and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to receive updates when we upload a new video Alrighty. Uh, well, the styling of this AMG, of course, this is an AMG Lite, so this sits below the new A45 that will be released somewhere this year, I believe. So we're starting at the rear, of course, the new A-Class rear with the new lights. We've got a diffuser with a couple of blades. Uh, we've got a dual exhaust, uh, which is real. Thumbs up to Mercedes. Um, and it's quite a big exhaust pipe. We've got black AMG wheels. It sort of resembles the wheels on the old SL55, something like that. We've got AMG performance brakes, which are quite big actually. Um, they have the same stopping power as the A45. Apparently, turbo formatic badge on there. You can actually also get a, an addition one pack on this car, which means you get a big rear wing uh, you get a different diffuser and you get those winglets on the front bumper as well uh, this actually also has a little spoiler as you can see which is quite aggressively angled but all in all i would say that this car is quite civilized sort of modest not not really amg crazy hooligan looking all right We'll also take a look at the engine, of course. So there it is, AMG. Uh, this is actually a more developed version of the A250's engine. So it's a two liter four cylinder with 306 horsepower, 400 Newton meters, zero to 100 kilometers an hour 4.7 seconds and a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour um, actually while we're here amg have done a lot to strengthen this car to to modify it to make it stiffer to make it handle better so i don't really know if you can see it but if you can underneath the uh, underneath the engine is a, a bolted on plate a stamped plate right there uh, that should ensure that the front end is, is a lot stiffer uh, than usual. It also has... It also has solid mounted front suspension, so it doesn't have rubber bushes. And it also has... Uh, the rear subframe is bolted on the same way, so it's just solidly mounted like this it doesn't have rubber stuff between it so that means that it's a lot stiffer and well a lot else has been done of course a lot more uh, it has different suspension damping uh, anti-roll bars this car is really different underneath than a standard a-class which is a good start in the interior, a lot has been done by AMG as well. We've got this gorgeous AMG steering wheel with this aluminium look. 
um, with an AMG badge, red stitching, flat bottom, a little 12 hour mark, center mark, pedal shifters also in that aluminium and of course the new uh, steering wheel stuff we have seen a lot but in an A-Class we know that it's possible but with this AMG steering wheel it looks really really good. One of the best in class if you ask me. We've also got these bucket seats by AMG with Alcantara leather, red striping, an AMG badge and they are super supportive, very sporty. Uh, they are also quite hard, so not really that comfortable, but they are great if you start hooning with this car. I mean, they keep you in your place very nicely. Uh, the rest of the interior is just standard A-Class, but that's you know nothing wrong with that. It's, it's a really good interior with a dual screen setup. I've actually never seen a new A-Class which doesn't have this. As I predicted, everyone is going for this big screen setup which is an optional extra as are these seats but we do have something new for this a35 we have a new style of display we can go for super sport so we get a very futuristic looking performance meter in here uh, we can go for all kinds of stuff in all three parts of the screen. So we'll go for this one, performance meter on the right. We'll go for a rev counter in the middle and a an Nürburgring ring Nordschleife. Track map, very cool. So we'll get that going. I mean, it is quite busy, but it is super sort of AMG-ish. We've got another performance meter right there. Um, which is a lot better than before. Better frame rate, sharper. Finally. So we'll go for, we're in comfort right now. You do hear that exhaust already, uh, but if we switch to Sport Plus, the valve open in the exhaust. You get some nice bangs on the upshift, you get some pops and bangs on the overrun. And the sound altogether is just a lot louder than in comfort mode. As I said, we're going to test the zero to 100 time of this car. Should be 4.7 seconds. We'll mount my phone right there. Connected, put it right here. The thing is with this new formatic system is that it sort of works on a mathematical basis to predict slip. Uh, if you did launch control in the previous A45, you always had slip because the differential and the traction control and everything had to react to the fact that there was slip at one or more wheels. Um, with this one, as I said, it's more of a prediction uh, based on your throttle input, steering input, uh, sort of lateral G's and they all take this information and it sort of predicts when you are going to lose grip. So with this new one, launch control should be less slip than before and that's a 5.3 to 100, that's not that fast. Okay, so it is a bit damp. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it. If you want one of these draggies for yourself, you can buy it in our store. You get this little device and the app that comes with it. It's 149 euros, including worldwide shipping. So get it in our store. Link is in the top right corner. Okay, and another benefit of this system is that it is completely variable. So it is basically a front wheel drive system, which you can feel when it starts to lose grip. But if you push it really hard and if you sort of let it slide over the front wheels and then give it a blip of throttle and of course turn off the ESP, you can actually force the rear end to sort of turn and to to do a little bit of a of a slide it's not you know you're not going to drift with it but you can get some rotation which is really good 
the steering feel and the steering itself is really quick, uh, very direct, which also helps with uh, sort of the agility feeling of the car. See, the rear end really rotates, which is really good. It's, it's a great feeling. It means that the car feels super neutral. You start pushing it, pushing it. You get a little bit of understeer and you can sort of adjust with the throttle. And this system will be even more developed with the new A45 with probably over 400 horsepower. Um, it will have a drift mode, which is super awesome. But you can already feel it with this one, that there is some space for that. It also has something called AMG Dynamics, which is basically torque vectoring, braking the inner wheel uh, to make sure that the car rotates better and you have a better turn in. There are a lot of new developments with this car and that's also because this car was developed knowing the, the new A-Class was developed knowing that an A35 was coming so they sort of could use that to develop the new A-Class. Uh, okay, performance wise, well we're at 244.5 we have the regular suspension setup. You can also go for variable dampers, but we have the regular one, which means that it is quite firm, but it's not bad at all. So that's the top speed, 255. 256. That's it. So the way it does it, it it, it's it's not that hard to do it, but it doesn't feel like you know there's lots of reserve. It, it is it does feel a bit strainy sometimes, uh, and that's mainly because this is basically an A250 engine that has been tuned really hard, and you do feel that sometimes. It's not the most sophisticated drivetrain. The gearbox is a seven-speed dual clutch gearbox and that too doesn't always feel that refined it doesn't feel as smooth and as supple as a Golf R drivetrain or an Audi S3 drivetrain and it's also not as quick as an Audi S3 from 100 to 200 it's about a second slower than that car but the gearbox is a lot better than the previous generation a 45 gearbox that also had the dual clutch gearbox this is miles ahead of that. The response to the pedals both on down and up shift is much better, much quicker. But you can actually feel that the car is dampened quite hard. It's, it's, it is quite firm. So that variable damping, AMG ride control, it should be a lot more comfortable, so I would go for that if you can. So if you take everything into consideration, you know, the car, the looks, the, the suspension, the chassis, the interior, the drivetrain, the performance, I would say that this currently is the class leading hot hatch in this segment. The, the four cylinder, around 300 horsepower hot hatch. But would I advise buying it? No, I would just wait for the A45 because that one, you just know it's going to be crazy. You just know that it's going to have that AMG Hoonigan personality and this really doesn't. This feels more like a Golf R in the way that it's a bit more subdued. The drivetrain doesn't feel that aggressive. And I think that the Golf R and the S3 are just a bit better when it comes to the versatile character of those hot hatches. Uh, I think the drivetrain of an S3 feels better than this. But all in all, it is a super impressive car and it is 
Of course it's cool that you have an entry, a new entry level AMG that is cheaper than before. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can also check out this review of a BMW M135i, our car versus a Golf R, or you can check out this playlist of POV reviews. You can subscribe by clicking the big button and you can follow us on social media, just search for Hotel Thanks guys, see you at the next one, bye.